If I were a ghost, where would I be? The first ghost hunting tool I get to use is a Geiger counter, invented in 1928 by particle physicist Hans Geiger to count radioactive particles. Today it is still the best means of monitoring alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. Inside the Geiger counter is a tube of neon gas, just like the kind you find in neon lights. When radioactive particles hit the gas, it becomes ionized and sends out an electric pulse which sounds like this. Each pop represents one particle. Geiger counters can also detect plasma, superheated gas like fire or lightning. Joshua believes there may be a connection between plasma and the glowing ghostly apparitions reported by eyewitnesses. He demonstrates the Geiger counter's effectiveness on a plasma ball. Oh, there you go. Jump off the charge. All the way. Yeah. And so what we find is that if we go to a location where paranormal activity is occurring and the Geiger counter needle responds like it just responded there, mm -hmm. but we don't get those little pops, the quanta mm -hmm. that you would associate. It's not radiation, it's not particles, it's some type of current being conducted. Meanwhile, back on the hunt. But generally, if you get anything above, let's say, uh, a 30, that's something we consider so, notable. OK. Yeah. All right, let's check out this room. Yes, I'm, I'm here. It's, it's, it's jumping right around here. OK. What are your uh, readings? You went up to 25 and 30. Oh, really? So you yeah. got 30? Yep. OK. My Geiger counter picks up an unusually high reading in the library balcony. And it's in the same place where Raymond Beck saw his ghost. 